morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. And we begin with Tinseltown throwing an epic party for its hometown heroes. Today, thousands of Angelinos will ditch school and work to watch the Super Bowl champion LA Rams parade their way through downtown. The festivities kick off at 11 a.m. outside the Shrine Auditorium and will wrap up a mile down the road with a pep rally at the team's former home base, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Way off in the distance, looking down over it all, is the famous Hollywood sign, which has been temporarily tinkered with to read Ram's House. How many of us watch the game itself? A lot, but not as many as predicted. More than 112 million people tuned in, up from last year, but far short of the record-breaking 117 million anticipated by research firm Predict HQ. The high watermark for Super Bowl viewing still stands at 114 million, set during the 2015 game between the Seahawks and Patriots. Researchers are calling it the most extreme rogue wave ever recorded. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, to be classified as rogue, a wave must be proportionately at least two times bigger than the one surrounding it. This one was three times bigger. Unlike tsunamis caused by earthquakes and volcanoes, wind is the driving force behind these open ocean behemoths. This particular boat rocker happened in November of 2020, a few miles off Vancouver Island, Canada. Researchers track water activity with smart buoys that relay data in real time, but it's taken until now to dot the I's, cross the T's, and confirm its record-breaking status. Luckily, the four-story big one was so far offshore it didn't cause any damage. Still, University of Victoria's lead researcher called it a 1 in 1,300 years event. The findings are published in Scientific Reports. Controversial teenage figure skater Camila Valieva is moving on to the women's free skate. Yesterday, she managed to shake off her nerves and the anger of other athletes to come in first in the short program. Aside from a stumble on the landing of a triple axle, the routine was basically flawless. Her next and final skate is the long program on Thursday. Should she medal as expected, there will be no podium. According to the ruling by the Court of Arbitration, that time-honored tradition will have to wait until her doping case is fully resolved. Skating insiders say there is a strong possibility that Camila and two of her Russian teammates, all of whom share the same coaches, will sweep the women's singles event. And all three would have to wait on the fate of Camila for a medal ceremony. It looks like Elon Musk may not be to blame after all. Scientists now say a piece of space junk that's on a collision course with the moon most likely did not come from a SpaceX rocket. Instead, says NASA, it is probably from a 2014 Chinese lunar mission. Independent stargazer Bill Gray originally identified the wayward piece of space junk, but after looking at more data from the space agency, now admits he got the source wrong. The debris is expected to hit the moon at 7.26 a.m. Eastern Time on March 4th. The impact will be on the far side of the moon and not visible from Earth, but it's expected to create a new crater up to 65 feet wide. In other Kid News notes, Spider-Man No Way Home continues to spin a web of box office magic. The movie just passed 2009's Avatar to become the third highest grossing film in the U.S. That may be as high as Spidey climbs, however. According to Variety, number two Avengers Endgame and number one Star Wars The Force Awakens are likely too far ahead to catch. From a spider in the theater to a real-life snake on a plane, the long scaly stowaway was spotted slithering through the overhead lights aboard an Air Asia flight from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia shortly after takeoff last week. Once notified, the pilot cut the flight short and landed at the closest airport. Cleaning crews then de-snaked the cabin and the plane took off again, minus one very sneaky passenger. That's it for Kid News this morning. Now, our Kid News quiz. The Hollywood sign near Los Angeles has been adjusted to say what? Ram's house in honor of the Super Bowl champions. Rogue waves are caused by what force of nature? 
Wind. Where does NASA now believe the space junk on a crash course with the moon came from? A Chinese rocket. Which movie just passed Avatar to take the third spot for all-time ticket sales in the U.S.? Spider-Man: No Way Home. In today's Kid News Kicker, a story to file under how not to keep a job. On his first and obviously last day on the job, a bored security guard at an art gallery in Russia uncapped a ballpoint pen. And doodled on an abstract painting. Specifically, he drew eyes onto faces that weren't supposed to have any. The 1930s painting is worth a million dollars. Undoing the doodle will cost thousands. Before we go, it's time to shout out our teachers and their students. Starting with Ms. Megan at Spruce Pine Montessori in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Ms. Hess at Taft IT High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Mrs. Bozeman at Southport Elementary in West Sacramento, California. Mrs. Benner at Sanborn Elementary in Longmont, Colorado, and Ms. Stevenson at Marshall Middle School in Beaumont, Texas. Thanks for listening, everyone. A friendly reminder that we are a nonprofit and run on your generosity. Tax-deductible donations can be made on our website and are processed by our nonprofit sponsor, Independent Arts and Media. Thank you, and we'll see you back here for more kid news tomorrow morning. <laughs>